We have Jake Sword is coming out to a huge amount of crowd support for their man. Jake Sword is coming out representing Wolf Jim in Warrington under coach Neil Holden. And it's quite kickboxing heavy, Jim. I was impressed by the Wolf Jim guys. The level of kickboxing is always so, so high, especially that's what you expect when you've got Neil Holden as a coach. And they also have a cage. Most gyms don't have a cage, and that's such a big advantage. Get used to cage craft, the footwork, staying in the right space it's it seems like you know wouldn't necessarily make a big difference it makes a huge difference having that cage nearby Coming out representing 10th Planet Banbury. Huge amount of support for them here. Really brought the crowd with them. And this is his debut stepping into the cage. Steve, what do you think is going through our man Lloyd Paul's head stepping into this cage for the very first time? I hope it was worth it. <laughs> no, it's, it's very interesting because obviously 10th Planet Banbury, they have a link with Precision MMA and they, they were a very standout team at our last show in Wolverhampton. So know that Lloyd Poor is getting put into this with some of the best backing and best training. He's, he's sparred quite hard. There's a bunch of other 10th Planet Banbury fighters on this card, so they've all come up together and they've had two rounds of peaking for different MMA fights. So there's been a lot of mixture and a lot of, of sparring. And you just have to put that together. How's the spar is the sparring going to come to fruition? Are you going to perform under these bright lights and this great disco ball? That's always the question. Can I perform? And? You know, a debut, you Absolutely. always want to get the win. What's interesting about Lloyd Paul, at the weigh-ins yesterday, he looked terrible. <laughs> I mean, he looked so dehydrated, so exhausted. He really struggled to make the 70 kilograms. And how much is the cat going to have depleted him now that we're 40 hours later? That's the real question. 30 hours. 30 hours later. It was kind of midday, it's not very long. <laughs> yeah, 30 hours. So, that's a very good point. How much is it taken out of you? How much have you been replenished? If you haven't done a weight cut before, are you going to be used to that? Because it is, at least in my experience, well, I, you know, cut weight a lot, but sometimes it would feel like you just couldn't get out of second gear, right? You had all these different, you had all these powerful sort of things that you usually do in the gym when you've got calories in you. And he, no matter what you put in yourself, how you rehydrate, how many calories you put in, how much sugar you put in, you still feel like you just, you know, like the brakes are on, like the handbrake is on. But maybe that won't be the way for Lloyd Poole tonight. He's coming in, representing 10th Planet Banbury in Precision MMA, and he wants to make a statement as our first fighter of the evening. Steve, I have an interesting prediction about this. We've got one gym here in Wolf Gym that are famous for their kickboxing. 
We have another gym in Templar at Banbury that are very, very renowned for their grappling. Is this a classic striker versus grappler? Or is someone going to give us a surprise? Yeah, it's very possible. Jake Saunders just comes out, flies in for the, the takedown, ends up pulling guard off of a, a sprawl and just sets up rubber guard to vaporize her. <laughs> Strong predictions. In a, in a different universe. <laughs> as he comes forward. That's what I thought we'd see from Jake Saunders. Ooh. Wanted to keep it on the feet and throw power. For doing well to sting there from his southpaw position. He's got some long tools there with his left, his right. Yeah, Paul is staying a lot more elusive. He's very calm. Hands are down a little bit lower than I would like, but maybe that's what poor style is. He throws these kicks wantonly. He's just a little bit taller and rangy and he's using it well, just keeping on the end of his shots. Saunders got that kind of standard come forward style, but his hands are coming low, maybe in kind of a mimic of poor. Yeah, no, no respect for each other's power at all. I wonder how that'll play out. Another kick lands for Saunders. It's a real feeling out process here. Boy, has got a very awkward kind of style here. Hard to... Oh, he lands a head kick, kick. And sits him down. Jake Saunders bounces back up. But man, that hurt. <laughs> Oh, he well, steams back. in. Jake Zorn is having none of it. Gets dropped, comes up, trash talking, throwing bombs. This is good from Lloyd Paul, though, being patient, not being drawn in. Looks just as measured away. as he was a moment ago. Maybe he thinks he's got the time, timing of Saunders down. I think he's definitely read the range. I haven't seen a lot of jabbing from either fighter, and there's that left high kick comes up again. Saunders coming high. Oh, Paul with a big shot of his own. <laughs> Saunders is not out of this fight. He is throwing venom. He is throwing, but he's just glancing off the guard of Poor. Just not quite there. They look big, they sound big, but they're not making any damage. Yeah, it's just a range issue, just being that little bit shorter. He needs to close down the distance. I thought he was doing the right thing, trying to back him into the fence, but Poor is doing so well to own the center of the cage where, he, where that can't happen. He can continue to maintain his distance. About 30 seconds left remaining here in this first round. Poor is looking like a very experienced fighter. Oh, Saunders landing a bit there. Saunders getting a bit more confident. Not landing that check hook either. And that hook, he brings it down back to his chest, and that's the time when you're going to see Saunders throw kicks. Ooh. I love the elusive list of Paul. That was a very interesting round. Big knockdown by uh, Lloyd Paul. But Saunders rallied fast. Did he ever? He totally no sold that. It was like it didn't even happen. However, it did, and it did happen in the mind of the judges. And what we got there is we've got a certain vic a certain round win for Poor and for the Precision MMA corner. Beautiful striking. And that's uh, Chris the Knee Me. He's the striking coach over there at 10th Planet Banbury. And uh, what a job he's doing. Yeah, I mean, Lloyd Poor's striking is very crisp. Just out of range, slipping the shots, but he's got to be so careful. Jake Saunders has some power. Yeah, but he's looking, he's looking to land it at all the wrong times. He's just out of range, like you've been saying. So Saunders has got to find the range here in this second round. Otherwise, it looks like it's just a matter of time before Poor lands some of those big kicks. There we go. Round two. Will Poor be able to land another big shot? Saunders backs him in, and there's the takedown now from Poor. Ooh, Saunders reverse. ends up on top. Well, we see some, some of this beautiful 10th planet jiu-jitsu. Oh, Saunders rain down some of that wolf gym power. Saunders doing well to keep his head under the chin of Poor. Just making a very uncomfortable sort of situation. He lands some left hands, but Poor's controlling it, looking to set up a triangle. I hope he's That's aware. Switching to the arm, Steve. Arm and platter. 
Man, yeah. variation of the Uma Plata there. Yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna sweep and use it to come up. Beautiful Ooh. work. That's High level skills by Lloyd Poor. Arm ended up in a very awkward position there for Saunders. Oh, he's a bit overcommitted as Lloyd Poor might fall over the top. Takes the back. Beautiful. Very strong position. And he's under arm. the chin. Doesn't quite have his hands together yet. Look he's going to start bringing that hand back. Can he finish it one-handed? He's got the body triangle with the arm trapped. This is a whole world of trouble for Jake Saunders. I'm looking into the eyes of Jake Saunders and I'm seeing that there's hope, but it's definitely blinking away. And we see that. So yep, he's got his hands together it's now. All there's over. The and there's the win. Lloyd Poor has come in in his debut and he's got the victory for Precision MMA and 10th Planet Banbury. Absolutely stunning. And they are performance. fired up. Brilliant, brilliant performance by Lloyd Poor. Incredible. Right start to finish. Relaxed in the striking. Came and brought it to him. And then, well, when he least suspected it, went for the takedown. It didn't go his way, but he was able to do some serious reversals from the ground. Some great submissions being thrown up. And then, of course, you get the finish there by taking the back. He did something level. really interesting with his feet, too. Did you notice him trapping the arm back? Yeah, beautiful. It's uh, the arm trap series, the Danaher uh, straight jacket series, they call it. You trap the arms, a bit like you're in a straight jacket, and then they've got two arms to choke you with. You've only got one to defend, or sometimes none. Beautiful work. What a, what a demonstration of precision striking and fantastic jiu-jitsu from Lloyd Paul. So we could call it precision mixed martial arts, couldn't we? There you go, call me, call me, 10th Planet Bamber. I've got all the ideas, just about two years too late. <laughs> Precision MMA gets the victory. Lloyd Poor showing that he is certainly in no poverty of technique. And he gets the victory in the second round. We go to the announcements. So that's the I'm really tired of 10th Planet Banbury trying to make me like them so much. They keep winning. Like, I keep trying to hate them. <laughs> I keep trying, like, I want to throw hate all the time, but I just end up, I'm always here, I'm just like, oh man, they're so cool. 